Hello, and welcome back to my drink making series. All of these drinks are non-alcoholic, but you can make them alcoholic because I'm sure that would taste good. If you are over or of the legal drinking age where you live, of course, be responsible in drinking. Okay, so I don't have a name for any of these drinks. Please give me names for these drinks. Okay, here's the first one that we made. I'm gonna be sipping on this because I'm thirsty. Um, fresh raspberries from our garden. You can, I would do this with strawberries, but I don't have any, so we're using raspberries. You can use frozen raspberries or frozen strawberries. You can use fresh raspberries or fresh strawberries. It does not matter, but you're gonna need raspberries or strawberries. I'm gonna say raspberries, but typically you would use strawberries for this recipe of mine. Okay, so in this little mixing cup, we have a little bit of sugar. This is not a little bit, I'm sorry. This is a teaspoon of sugar. And there's already a little bit of water in here, but I think I'm gonna need more water. You're just going to get a few raspberries, however many you want, really. I'm gonna get quite a few, actually. We want this pretty raspberry. Oh, this is a 16 fluid ounce cup, so you're gonna need something that can hold 16 fluid ounces. Honey. This is clover honey, but honestly, just use regular honey. Excuse you. Orange juice. And sparkling water, but I like to keep that cold, so it's in the fridge. Okay, now that you have your raspberries and your sugar in a bowl. Not a bowl. <laughs> you have to make sure this is microwave safe. Mine is, so there you go. You're going to put a little bit of water in there. Just a little bit. And you're gonna stick it in the microwave. I'm gonna put a lid on mine because a lid is just a, it's a plate. All right, now you're gonna stick it in the microwave for 22 seconds. And we're gonna put these back in the fridge. Now, instead of a spoon, you're gonna wanna use a fork because it's easier with a fork. Let me just clear this out of the way, give me a second. also need a medium to small strainer for this recipe. You could do this in a pot, but I find that doing it in a microwave is just more convenient for me. So you're going to want to mash up your raspberries or strawberries. Just like really mash them, I mean like you want all the juice out of there. It's not going to smell great, by the way, but it'll taste wonderful. I honestly think that's pretty good. Great, okay. So, now we're going to let this cool for a bit. Because it's warm and you don't want it to be warm. Oh, I forgot. You're going to want to put ice in this leaving about an inch of space at the top like you did with the first you could call all of these summer drinks if you will okay now you're gonna want to do the same thing that we did with the first drink which is just drizzle honey over the ice you want to make sure some of it gets to the bottom i'm gonna try not to do what i just did and put it on the sides of the cup too much because we're not gonna fill it that high Um, I'm making this drink for my sister, so I'm putting quite a bit more honey than I would for me because she likes hers to not be super bitter. Now you could strain it right into the cup, but I'm going to strain it into a bowl just because to me that's more convenient. So I'm going to get it into a bowl. I'm going to take your mixture that is now relatively cool. You still want it to be kind of warm so that it's a little soupier. You're just going to pour it all into the strainer. 
You might want to get a scraper. You might not want to. It doesn't matter to me. Spatula. Take my fork. Sit it on the plate for a second. Scrape it into there. All right. Now you're gonna take your fork and just kind of mush it around in there, getting all that you can strained out of the raspberries. Now you can eat the little thingies, the little seeds and stuff. You don't have to, but it would help to not waste it. Um, a good example, you could put pulp in it, honestly. Like if you want to have that little extra, like you can put a few seeds in there in the cup. Um, I honestly don't know if Katie likes texture in hers, so I'm not gonna risk it. But if you want to make a couple of drinks, or you like pulp, like pulp in your orange juice, I don't, so I'm not putting any of this in there. But you could save this and do another drink just with pulp. Or you could make a totally different drink out of this, which I may or may not show you in this series, but we'll see, we'll see. You could also take this and put it in ice cubes, which is a cool thing. And you can paint with it. Like there's all sorts of things that you could do. Okay. I'm pretty sure that is all the juice that I'm gonna get out of this. All right, set that aside on a plate so that you know you don't make a mess. And now that you just have your strained raspberry juice, you're gonna let it sit and cool off for a minute and clean up. So I will see you in a second. Okay, I'm back. I grabbed some grapefruit juice as well, just because my sister needs a little grapefruit juice in her system. It just makes it better for you. Okay, so you shake up your orange juice pretty well. Now you're gonna get your raspberries. I like to pour them at the same time because it looks cool. So just Pour it in there, get your finger or spatula if you're making this for somebody else, but it's my sister, so I'm gonna use my finger. Now, fill it up with orange juice until you hit this line, or this line over here. Now, get your sparkling water. Here's the time where you would add alcohol if you want to. Um, my alcohol suggestions for this specific drink would be either vodka or champagne in place of bubble water. Give me a second. Okay. Now, just fill up the bubble water until about the third line on this cup, because this is a Starbucks cup, so you can get the little line. Now, if you want it to look cool, make it look cool. You know, just leave it like that. Don't mix it up. This is a great drink if you want to take pictures. I don't know. I'm gonna mix it because of the honey at the bottom. So you just wanna mix together all of it and you'll see that you get globs of honey and stuff because of the fact that I said with the last drink, it's ice and honey together. You're just gonna wanna mix it from the top down and then go up and around. And there you go. delicious drink with the addition of the grapefruit juice it is a little bit more bitter which is right up my alley if you don't want grapefruit juice in yours then don't put grapefruit juice in yours I don't have a name for either of these drinks so please let me know this one is matcha and excuse you this one has matcha and well this one specifically has matcha lime apple cider vinegar ice honey water and bubble water in it so 
so let me know names for this one let me know names for this one and if they already have names if these drinks are things that other people like is like an actual thing and i just had no idea and i'm not being original at all um feel free to tell me as well <laughs> i have a feeling that i'm not being original but these are just drinks that i made i don't know if they exist or not okay now move on to drink number three a goodbye for now like if you want to comment if you want to subscribe if you want more wonderful content like this bye